Hey, this is Samara signing on with some more of Battleborn. Battleborn. Battleborn, Battleborn, Battleborn. Okay, anyways. So last time we went through Atticus's Rebellion again, playing as DND, and she's got some moves. She's pretty good. Um, after yeah, so we're just gonna do another part um op mission. Try to find teammates, no luck. So we're just gonna go tackle Toby's friendship raid again. So yeah, I think I've been, this one I've been twice, you know, once on camera, once not, because I didn't realize that's how the story settings work. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through, through we're the about third to drop time, you off on a factory ship see what changes and see what we can do. Ring at unthinkable speed. It, try not to think about it. The fleet was stolen by a rogue LLC employee, and we think he's building an army to take over Solus. Let's find out what this LLC reject is planning and stop him. Valkyrie, out. Okay, so who are we going to play as now? Didn't attack type... Mm. I'm not sure. We still got a couple of options left. Mm, I'm just thinking, I don't know. You know what, let's do, um, another rogue. Let's do Pendles. Why not? Contract killer at your service. Alright, the assassin. Af Aphosis, Diamondback, Emulian Indigo. I played as him um, once or twice. I think once. Here it goes. Take a good look, you... <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, yeah, another rogue, so I feel it's appropriate to, like, help out his rogue buddy. Uh, ooh, voiced by J. Michael Tatum. So, yeah, he's also got... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ida. Who else did he play in this game? There was another person he voiced. Ida from, um, My Hero Academia, Sir Hammerlock, in you know, Borderlands 2, and such, you know, the Borderlands games he was in. Yeah, he voiced another character. Uh, oh, he was Calvin as well. That's right. That's cool. Hey there, champ. You're doing great. This third time around. Okay. So Pendle's cloak activates another um, sneaky boy. Activates when out of line of sight of enemies. Pendle's movement speed increases while cloaked, but decreases while uncloaked. Sorry. I utilize dual commas in a flurry of strikes while a secondary range strike throws them. So very similar to the Andy. Now uh, grant some CC duration. What's that? Um. Anyways, smoke bomb. Throw a smoke bomb at his feet. It instantly cloaks him. Injection. Pendle supplies poison to his commas and visually strikes enemies. Yeah, slowing. Um. Let's do Cobra Strike. Oh. Yeah, so following up to the Andy. He's also a sneaky one. Yay! What are you doing here? So, funny thing, a fellow named Milky Grontonymous hired me to murder you lot. But you're not going to murder us, right? Course Maybe. Not. It's check bounced. Take that check <laughs> down to the hangar. If you do these missions, yeah, normally it's just, um... I wonder, hmm. Casual Thursday will now be mandatory. Anyone not wearing a shirt? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought because I was trying to figure out how to kill these things. Um, so, normally there's not an interaction like that. Do you, if you go into a mission with the same class, I guess you could say, of character as, like, the goal of the mission, like, if you go in here with another rogue, is there different dialogue or, you know... Then again, I went in with Deandy, or is it just like maybe it applies to the um, additional characters? Like if you go into Atticus with Beatrice because she was uh, the generate character, would she have new dialogue? That'd be interesting. I'm not sure, but I'm interested to know. Okay, anyways, going in with Pendles. So yeah, I played as him, uh, yeah, I think only once, but he had some really cool abilities. Also sneaky with strong attacks, um, you know, big poison theme on top of it. And yeah, he just, like, naturally has stealth. You tripped the alarms! Take out those security bots! Build some turrets to help you take out those bots. I 
I'd like to see that. Yeah, classic pendles, that is. <laughs> Gotta get more ops points. Um. I need some, like, stuff to break. Damn, nice. Um, they're blinded for a short time, smoke my was gonna be thrown. Ah, let's do the blinding. I need some, yeah, I need... build the turrets before I kill everything, because then I get ops points. Oh, I was right there next to one, and I didn't see it on the map. Duh. Get out of my way. Disappear as long as you have like a moment to get away, you're just gone. Get out of my way. Oh. There we go. Nice. Uh, adds life steal effect to Pendle's commas. Ooh. Uh, yeah, life steal. Nice. Yes! Um, portion of health damage dealt by infection, injection. Um, yeah, let's go additional health, just because I want to stay alive. Can I actually make it over there? One second, because I don't want to risk falling. Ah, okay. I was wondering if I could make it over there. Um, okay, so kill Thrall Bone Crusher with a skill. Can do. Potentially. A lot of ops points on the line here. Oh, wait, I was already invisible. Uh, whatever. Whoops. Bone Crusher go.
Where'd the bone crusher go? Did he escape? I'm guessing he escaped up the... Okay. Uh... I love this stealth. This is so cool. Out of my way. Out of my way, mate. Can't have you messing up my flow. That bone crusher is almost dead. Finish him off with a skill. Working on it. Nice. I'm happy. Thought I was going to say thrilled, didn't you? Points awarded. Subversion. <laughs> yeah, it's on the list. If it's not you, it'll be another one. Maybe your family, if you have any left. And if you do, well, you won't have much left for long. <laughs> Sorry. It's fun <laughs> to do the accent. Pendles is great. Okay, um, Pendles takes reduced damage while cloaked. One cloaked and taking damage from a smoke bomb cooldown is reduced. Um, let's do, yeah, damage reduction while cloaked. No one's aiming at us, it can be good to deflect area of effects and such. So, <sighs> silent like a snake. Chica -chica. Okay, here we go. Righto. I'm trying to think of like how's the best way to do this. What? Oh, he just she meant like right now. Okay, I thought you know once you start. Cool, did it. I thought she meant like one. It's like a timer thing where like oh once you kill a minion the timer starts so you just gotta keep it up and nope you just she just meant like now go. It was a lot easier than I expected. Yeah, you can just disappear. Pendles would be a good, um, like, point capturer. Come on, get up there. Okay. okay. Actually, speaking of which, um, with Toby, yeah, if he's got that one ability on his, um, you know, lock-on, he could see through the cloak. So, you know, that's something. Okay, back. So, back into it. God, I was close still. Bruh. Fair warning, this I am probably going to die. Whoop. There we go. Nice. This handiwork brought to you by executive executions. Uh, propels back, propels backwards. That could be... Um, yeah, let's go with Faye. Ah, damn it. Whoops, come on. Just keeping an eye out. It means a bound. This is great, yeah. This cloaking, you can just keep it going. It is so nice. Oh, you're dead. Go. 
What happened to Barry? Oh my god! Yeah, just being able to keep this cloaking up is really nice. I forgot how good this was. And, you know, I'm sure there are things, you know, to get you found out in PvP, but also, like, you know, this is a good solo character if you're able to do this. Get away, the recharges are fast. As long as you're just, like, not seen by anything. If you go behind cover and then just have that moment to disappear, then, yeah, you're in the clear. Wait, no, it's not up there, it's on the other side. Just <clears throat> sneaking through. This is a fun ability set. Yeah, order your execution today. Yeah, you pair this up. Yeah, you pair him up with like a... Uh... Gotta sneeze. <coughs> Ew, okay, we're good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you pair him up with a tank. And yeah, you know, they can cover fire and you can just like disappear, do a ton of damage. You can even use the asthma while invisible. That's great. There he goes. And yeah, while you have that or the miasma activated, he has that faster um to uh, injection, that faster recharge, which you could stack that. That'd be crazy. We could keep going, but let's kill everything. Wait. No, never mind. Something foul on the air, mates. Yeah, just that stunning. You get somebody in that miasma, you can, you know, hit them with injection, stun them with the grenade, probably have, because of the fast recharge, hit them with injection again, and yeah. <laughs> you could lay on the damage, and then chances are just like disappear again. And depending on what your if you what your setup is, you could even probably have that backstab damage bonus or whatever. Yeah, he's a, you know, he's a killer. He's a good he's a good what assassin. Can you tell me about this ship, Reina? Just that these production ships are practically identical. Um, excuse me, but you clearly haven't been paying attention. And personally, I think the minor cosmetic changes really make it feel fresh and new. Thank you. One more ops point in the bag. <sighs> <laughs> uh -huh. Whoops. Uh, okay, that was weird. Damn it. Uh, come on. Wasn't doing anything. You picked up an extra ops point. <laughs> the end begins now. Yeah. 
Yeah, you just do so much disorienting. I'm putting this in my promotional video. Oh, he's coming down. Uh, where'd he go? Uh, wait a second. I see how the movement speed is really good. Yeah, he moves pretty slow when he's revealed. But, yeah. If you can... He moves really slow when he's revealed, but you move just automatically fast when you're um, cloaked. So, you know, there's the trade-off there. So I suppose that's kind of like the, um, you know, if when you go in, you can deal a lot of damage, but if you get caught, you don't have much time to, time to escape. There's a good combo, com, uh, sorry, combo of things you can do when you're going in for the, you know, initial attack or kill or the backstab, but with, if you can't get away, you're almost definitely screwed. No, shut up. Oh wait, it's not the bone crusher. It, whatever. Did I get it? Oh, yeah, right. It was just a Ronin bot. I thought it was something bigger. For some reason, I wasn't paying attention. I'm only in the middle of a... Um, Pendles reflects a portion of melee damage back at attackers. Ooh. Increase height of Pendles jump. Mm, let's go with damage reflection. Nice. That extra throwing is pretty good, though. Nice. <clears throat> Keep my eyes open. My eyes open. Yeah, just with his base move speed and then some movement boosters, you can just fly. Get out of your turret. Blow up. I don't care. Whoops. Yeah, I like the banter when you're playing as... I wonder, yeah. So, like, if I play as, um, you know, the Thrall Rebellion with Beatrix, is does she have dialogue because she's the generate char DLC character, or what? I don't know. Yeah, he's not much of a competitor, that's why I recommended him. But then again, it's still competition, so I'll take him out. <laughs> Nevertheless, that'd be great. Just like, you know, in a follow-up to um, Battleborn, there's suddenly a mission where you fight some guy named Jake Varn. Oh, sweet. Not a 
Alright. Does it technically count as dealing damage from any of them behind when it's just crystals? I'll take it. You can try, mate. Level eight. Okay. Two smoke bomb cooldown. Three smoke bomb damage. Um, actually, yeah. Let's go with cooldown because then that can make us disappear faster. Um, reduce injection cooldown. That's good. I don't think we're gonna get more levels, so that's why I'm. Penalty becomes more resilient to crowd control for a short time after using injection. Oh. Sorry. Or wounded? That would be really good. Injection damage increased against enemies with less than 50% health. That's really good too. Depending on how who you're facing, that could be a great trade-off. Yeah, Pedals has got a great. Jeez, really good. You know, this could be one of my favorite rogue characters, just in general, maybe. Okay, right. You just fall down, but I thought I'd try. Just see if I can land on it. Just say it's just to say I could. Yeah, Milky Grund. Nah, 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 nah. Stop that mech! Doesn't know where I am. Who loves a cloudy day? I do. Oop. Just so much damage so quickly. Alright, let's say this guy out then, shall we? You know what you are, Mr. Snake? A double crosser. So I'm gonna cut you in half and make you into a pair of boots. Awesome. Ah, I've always said I'll make a great pair of boots. Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, sure, you can do whatever you want. If you ha can kill me, bring it on. Here comes the yes, oh. Oh. Yeah, it's bad for you. All the fat. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, just being able to disappear like this is crazy good. That was be the one thing to change my like really you know I'd still double off you but if you got triple you know man on you it makes it so easy you should have taken the upgrade you should have stole the design on Toby's mech where you can see cloak targets this is amazing I love this Over. Good. And SOB owes me credits. I'll reach out to a few old contacts I haven't killed yet. They might be able to help us figure out who this fellow really is. Cool. Keep him on the run, rogues. Yay! <laughs> yeah, Pendles is a freaking beast. He is really good.
yeah, with 55 um, points, you know, that's really good. Extra life. Yeah, I'm just checking around. There's nothing for us to grab, but yeah, awesome. Yeah, Pendles is really good. He'd be a really good solo character, and he was the third DLC character? It doesn't matter. He showed up at one point, and yeah, he's really, really good. Just waiting to see some scores. But yeah, Pendles, just like that cloaking, and you know, just like that complete invisibility, and... You know, with the cooldown reductions and the sneak attack damage you could put, you could pull off, you could do a lot with him. It is brutal. Blue crate. Yeah, I played him as a little bit, but I think that unlocks a new mutation. Potent venom. Cool. Boots go on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he'd be fun to use in like Oscar Mike's mission. Okay. Yeah. So that was cool. I like it. Pendles is really good. He's all the way at the bottom. Yeah, just so many good abilities and, you know, tack. Complex, assassin, yeah. If he can pull something off, he can, you know, duration of injection, slow effect. That's not bad, depending on how you want, if you need to slow down your targets. Um, but, yeah, um, with <laughs> Pendles... If you get stuck, you have very little chance of getting away, but if you can keep a chain of stealth going, it'd be pretty brutal. That's pretty good. <laughs> I just got paid. That's great. Um, as uh, uh, as as this blue crate that looks good. Does that jacket change? Okay, well not change, but you know, Emilian Indigo, Copperhead, Coral Snake, Garter Snake, Black Mamba, Basilisk. That looks cool. Ouroboros, Steel Skin. That looks cool, like a robot version. That's I like that. That's cool. Uh, deal 500 damage after uncloaking 100 times. Disputes with a neighbor. Okay, yeah. Tentacles slap enemies been on battleborn 50, 50 times. So that's just like his basic melee attack. Well, Miasma is activated. Yeah. Pendles, lots of really good abilities. Oh, yeah, I played two missions with him. I don't remember either of those times. But nevertheless, yeah, he's a really good character. I like him. So, yeah, I know I keep saying that over and over again, but he's just that good. Okay, we got ten characters left. So we still gotta play as Shane and Oryx, uh, Galt and Ernest, uh, Marquis, Cleese, Isaac, um, Ambra, Boulder, Melka again, just because the prologue doesn't count. Oh, that's gonna be weird. Miko. Yeah, we're boiling it down. We got ten characters, technically, no, eleven, because the first part, the prologue, whatever. We're getting closer. So, yeah, Pendle's really good. He's so good. Okay, we're going to wrap up here for right now, and next time we continue, we will carry on, move on to the next character, and we will see how that goes. Do another ops mission. Maybe I'll try... I'm thinking I'm going to try um, uh, Oscar Mike's ops with Ernest and see if maybe there's new dialogue because he's part of, um, you know, what was it? You Or the Peace... Or, no, not Peacekeepers, but you get the point. Anyways, so with that all being said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.